should first invite Jenny to come up. And Jenny, your presentation is ready to go with the clicker. Thank you. Um, g'day everyone, uh, my name's Jenny and I'm currently a Corporate Process Engineer for New South Wales at Glencore Coal. Um, my whole professional working career post-university has been with Glencore, which I'm fortunate enough to say. Um, so before uh, joining Glencore, I was actually born and raised on, in DY, Northern Beaches in Sydney. Um, I moved to the Hunter Valley, uh, specifically Singleton, um, after joining the Glencore program graduate program after uni and it was actually the first time I moved out of home. Um, as a part of the Glencore graduate program this led me to work in Mudgee for two years before then coming back to Newcastle in 2020 to join Glencore Corporate. Um, so I've just got some fun facts to quickly break the ice. So one, I I like baking um, but I'm pretty average at it so no fancy drip cakes. Two, I only tasted wine for the first time um, moving to the Hunter Valley, so I'm still on the quest to find my favourite wine. And three, I've just bought a house in Newcastle, so I'm still unpacking my life out of boxes. So when I was making this presentation, I came to the scary realisation that high school for me was 10 years ago. Um, I graduated back in 2012, and I remember during this time, I had no idea what I wanted to do as a career post-school. Um, this meant that, you know, when I was picking electives in year 10 and 12, I just decided, well, since I don't know what I want to do, I'll just pick the subjects I actually enjoyed. Um, and this included mainly maths and chemistry. Um, still into year 12, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I was actually fortunate. I had an older sister who um, had already almost finished her degree and she had friends that had done engineering. So they took me under their wing and said, look, come with me to the careers fair at University of Sydney have a look, um, see if it's something that you might be interested in. Um, and lo and behold, this was sort of how I fell in love with um, chemical engineering and then the idea of utilising both maths and chemistry, which were subjects I loved, um, and utilising them into making real life solutions. So as a part of my degree, we're actually required to do 12 weeks engineering vacation work. Um, mine was uh, done in 2016 and I actually worked for a consulting firm. This was based in the heart of Sydney and it was involved doing sort of energy balances and trying to save money for their utility use. Um, this was all office work for me, so it was a lot more difficult for me to conceptualise everything in my head from an office without actually being at site. And this was what um, sort of motivated me to think about potentially work outside of Sydney and look at work that will um, have me based at site. And Google led me to... Um, find the Glencore graduate program. Um, so this led me obviously to the Glencore grad program. So the biggest appeal for me with the Glencore grad program was it was a set program for two years and structured with uh, multiple rotations um, that was focused on developing my processing and chemical engineering. Um, it was also for a global mining and commodities company. Um, Mining itself was something that I was completely new to. I didn't learn anything about coal during uni since it was mainly oil and gas focused. And obviously my vacation work, because it was on energy savings for the Parliament House, um, there was nothing coal focused on that as well. So the attraction for the Glencore grad program was they had structured you know, classes and workshops throughout the two years. Um, this was called some you know, graduate master classes and so forth that focused on teaching us everything from the mine, how we take um, all the coal and material out of the pit to the wash plant where we process it, uh, recover the coal because we want to remove all the rock, shale, clays, the things that aren't black and shiny, take it to our trains and sell it um, overseas. So <clears throat> I spent um, the first 12 months at Liddell um, this is actually an open cut mine and it was one of the newest plants in New South Wales for Glencore. And then the next six months after that was at Yule Land Prep Plant, which is near Mudgee. Um, this was actually a plant built in the 80s, so you can imagine how old the technology was. But it was washing some premium underground coal. So 
it gave me a lot of diversity um, in what I was exposed to with the types of quality that I could be exposed to with coal, as well as the pieces of equipment that I could deal with as well. Um, and I was fortunate enough that at Yuleland, this was where I first got my full-time role as a process and logistics coordinator, which I held for about two years. Um, also in the Glencore graduate program, um, you'll see in the pictures on the left was actually the first day of the grad program with the rest of my cohort. And then the pictures on the right was um, towards the end of my program where um, they actually paid for us and supported us to do a certificate for in leadership and management. Um, so the photo on directly furthest on the right is with the director of Glencore handing me the certificate. Now, I think um, pictures speak louder than words here. So the one on the top right, um, that was actually from a visit to the mine. Now, um, we typically interact with, a lot with the geologists because we want to see everything that comes before it arrives to the plant, before we process it. The things I look out for is anything black and shiny is good because we know that's coal. Anything that's not black, not shiny, could appear white in appearance is stuff that we wanted to reject. Now it looks, you know, pretty innocent, um, but it ended up me looking like um, the next photo on the right where I'm covered completely in mess and coal next to my manager. Um, fun fact, that photo is actually still in my manager's office. I was actually there this morning um, back at Liddell. Um, I've also included some photos of some pieces of equipment that uh, we inspect daily. So the next two on the top row on the right, um, the first one's a cyclone, and then the photo with the green pieces of equipment is a spiral. Uh, funnily enough, does look like a spiral pasta. Um, that mainly processes finer coal less than two mil. Then the bottom on the left is what we call a dense medium cyclone. That processes coarse material. Um, and then for me um, and the other process engineers, our work's mainly quite visual and feeling. Um, the appearance and feel of everything's quite important to us. So um, that's a photo of some of the coal that we're making sure is bigger than two mil. Um, and then the next two are screens where the left is our product. So um, it all looks black, so it's pretty good. And then on the right is everything that we're rejecting. So I'm making sure there's no coal lost there. Um, this is from a pit visit uh, during my graduate program. So on the left, we've got some diggers loading up some coal uh, onto the truck to be sent to the plant. On the right, um, it's actually Liddell open cut. So it's approaching the end of its mine life. So you can see it's quite vast, almost empty looking as well. And then on the middle in the center, that's our product stockpile. So we're inspecting our coal there. Um, this is just outside of work. So these are everyone that I've met during my time in the company and the friends I've made. Um, as you can see, still on the quest to find my favourite wine. So my current role, um, I pretty much oversee all the wash plants in New South Wales for Glencore. Um, so the map on the right will show the assets that uh, Glencore have in New South Wales. Um, this will range from Yule Land, that's in Mudgee, all the way back to the Lower Hunter Valley out here. A big focus for me is uh, making sure we're recovering all the coal that we can, um, maximising throughput, so everything that we're pushing into the plant, minimising costs and making sure we're um, meeting our production rates. Um, I've got a, um, I oversee uh, these four main pillars for each wash plant and assist the guys at site to make sure we're hitting those targets. So I'm fortunate enough that in my current role, um, there's a lot of mentoring and assistance for the up and coming engineers and graduates. Um, I've also got photos on the bottom. So the first one on the left is actually at Manor and Prep Plant, which is in the Hunter Valley. Um, that's actually a $30 million plant that uh, we recently installed in 2021 and I helped commission. And I've also got Ravensworth Prep Plant, which had flotation commissioned in 2020. Um, so these are obviously 
more recent photos, you can probably tell with the mask wearing. So on the left is the $30 million plant at Mount Olin, and next to it on the right with the blue is at Ravensworth. Funnily enough, uh, all that money was spent uh, just to have those bubbles on the right. Um, $30 million are needed and with chemicals to make sure we can generate those bubbles so that coal can be stuck to the bubbles and we can recover more material. Um, and then on the top, you've just got uh, some photos of me doing some inspections inside the plant when we were chasing some quality issues. Um, so I just wanted to end on just three things that I wish that I knew 10 years ago when I was in high school. Um, the first two points are sort of linked together. Um, one, keeping an open mind, and two, not being afraid to get out of your comfort zone. So for me, I'd sort of never pictured myself ever leaving the comfort of Sydney and the comfort of home. So myself joining Glencore back in 2017 was um, myself moving out of the home for the first time. Um, you know, I think if I never did that, I wouldn't be in the position where I am now where I can, um, you know, mentor the up and coming engineers that are joining the program. And three, uh, speaking of mentors, um, the importance of mentors that I've had ever since joining Glencore. So when I joined Glencore, we were assigned um, mentors and each site that I've been at, um, I've had a lot of mentors that have taught me the basics of coal processing and then um, the leadership and management skills that uh, I've needed and used throughout my life. Um, so thank you for um, allowing me to have a talk um, and giving me this opportunity. And if you guys had any questions, please let me know. Thank you.